Hi, I'm Christine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm an artist based in Candos. I also work with Arts Out West and I'm going to tell you a story about um, doing overseas residences and then coming back to Candos and finding that I had a contemporary art festival in Candos called Cementa. Um, I did a residence in, um, at Draw International in France, which is a centre for research into drawing, and the, the building in the centre there, like up there was my studio window, and I open up and look over this beautiful medieval town, and I got some drawing done as well. So I worked from drawing to sculpture and then back to drawing again, and I just, I wanted to um, refine my drawing because I didn't particularly like the way I drew, and so John McNaughton, who ran the space, guided me through working through sculpture and then through drawing. And this is the work that I did, dropping lumps of clay. I did a residence in Tabernan in Indonesia and we developed a, um, an art festival. This was a three, you know, a four metre high banner that was on the side of the road. It has 15 fonts on it. And when I got it in an email, I thought, oh God, you know, where do you start? But it fitted, culturally it fitted in really, really well, because all the banners were like this. Um, I worked in at, with Arts Out West on an exchange to Worksworth Festival in England. And in the Worksworth Festival, we, we, um, something that was really good was our relationship with the other Australian artists that went and working on projects. Once I came back from that project, artists that I'd met at Cementa 13, um, invited me to go in an exhibition at Articulate in Sydney and this was called Leave in the Ground and each of <coughs> has got the name of a um, coal mine. Um, now this is Cementa Festival. Cementa Festival is a contemporary art festival that happens every two years. So first one was 13, next one is um, 2015. There were regional artists and also artists that came from Sydney. And most of the artists that came from Sydney, if they came, they needed to spend some time in residence at Candles Projects. And so the work that they created had something to do with the town. This is a couple of artists doing a tour. So artists were asked to lead tours around the town. So we had about 60 sites through the town that had um, installations, um, uh, video works, performance works. We used scout halls, churches, people's backyards. And um, artists work for a week before the um, festival um, in these spaces. The people that went on the tours were local people and visitors to the town and they found that the information that was given, like being able to talk to someone about the artworks was really, really valuable because they started to understand because contemporary art can be very difficult to understand but being able to talk to the artist they found was very, very useful in understanding so they understand so there was a concept behind. This was um, a yarn workshop, so people were telling stories about candles while they were spinning at the CWA halls, and it was another site where artists were led around. Um, artists led people who were looking at works around. Um, in the background is the Catholic Church precinct, and that was an, another site with a lot of exhibitions. And this was a performance in the evening in Candos. This artist here had used cement. Candos is a cement town. And she'd used, she'd gone and got a whole lot of um, items from the tip and she'd cast them in cement and installed them in a paddock on top of the hill. So there was a, yeah, there was a very broad range of work. This was in a backyard. And all the artists got together and helped each other. Like this one was put, you could actually, you can get into this, so it's sort of quite high. The artists got together and helped this artist put the structure together. So we had a dinner one night, everyone ended up here trying to avoid the ants and um, putting the, the UFO together. As you walked down the street, there were performances. 
And then on the left hand side, um, there was an opportunity for all of the local artists to exhibit in a salon, and so anyone could bring work along. There was work that was participatory, and this work was about the colour orange. And so people could build up layers and layers and layers on that canvas there um, of orange paint and sign it. So the work was actually produced by a whole group, I think it was about 40 people. There were <coughs> businesses in town like this cafe, had an, the installation at the end there, the coloured boxes, and there was also a um, film night, and so they hosted the film night, and there was um, a couple of films that had been made for the festival, plus um, <coughs> in other venues, there was artist talks, there was um, like a for forum talks between artists and academics, and there was a sound night and a written word night. And so the festival was over um, four days. Um, one of the artists did Candles in the Future. Candles had been a town where the cement works closed, it was the main employer. There was a new future for Candos that was sustainable, that was developed in this artist's um, poster. The next festival is in April, and if you want to find out about it, we'll be calling for volunteers. That will be leading people around the festival, and um, that is the uh, website. And you can also find that email address there. Thank you.